Hey everyone, Dan here. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas. These are not meant to be, nor should you take them as investment or trading advice in any way, shape, or form. Do your own due diligence, put in the work for yourself, and make your decisions based on that. Enjoy. All right, folks, here we are on Tuesday, April 2nd. We're going to take a look at Nicola today. So quick update here. You see nice move off the bottom, pushed up just shy of our one, say, 15 level. The high on this day was 115. So, um, you know, maybe a little wick up there. Ah, there it is, the little wick. And then it's been pulling back ever since today, down so far about 8%. Um, and ended up down a little over 1% yesterday, but it covered a big range. So like we said, the high of 115, uh, and then the low was down at 96, 97 cents. So um, pretty big range there, but it's holding the levels really nicely. You see this 96.64, what did I just say the low was? 96.62. So we're coming within a fraction of a penny of nailing these levels. Similarly here, the low so far today, at least 86.15, we have 85.25. So again, just about a penny, um, you know, uh, difference there. So if we zoom in, we can really see, maybe we'll go to the 10, so we can see this sort of downtick that we're talking about. So we're continuing to climb here. And then, as you can see, in the pre-market, it had come up to this 120 level. We have 120.46 on the chart. It confirmed resistance off of there. And then it just continued to lose support levels. Now it did catch this 96.64. That's what we just spoke about. And then where did it return to? It returned to resistance at 105.45. And then today so far comes down, initially finds support at this 96 level, and then loses it, flips it to resistance for the time being. And that's where it pushed down toward that 85.25. So it is moving through the levels really nicely. I do chart it on the daily, but I make use of it on all different time frames um, and just sort of use those as guideposts. If I do add in additional levels, say just 10 minute specific uh, chart levels or three minute chart level specific, um, you know, I still leave these daily ones on here, maybe just use the other ones in a different color, but this is moving so like enormously through ranges, right? It's moving through huge ranges intraday. And so it's covering the ground that it would, that it needs to to touch all of these levels anyway. So if these levels continue to play, we have 85.25 to the downside, 96.64 is the first resistance level for it to get to or through, 105, 110, 115, and 120. Now if it does lose that 85 level, we have 80, 13, 77.05, and then 69.85 for the time being. Now in the think or swim side of things, we do see it had pushed up out of the channel. And what we always look for, the question we always have is what happens when it re-engages with the channel? For now, it's trying really hard to wick off of the wave cloud, the green wave cloud that shows bullish trend, trying to wick off of that and confirm that as support. Once again, sticking its head up out of the channel for now. So what does that sometimes mean? Sometimes that means that it has more pressure, more momentum to exhaust in the direction in which it's moving before it's going to pull back deeper into the channel and ultimately retest the mid-range of the channel, which is this bright blue line. So we'll see how this continues to take shape today but that may be a bit of what we're seeing here more bullish momentum to exhaust what that means is sort of the question right does it need bullish momentum to exhaust all the way like deep into the dollar level or through the dollar level or is it just going to sort of reconfirm shy of a dollar um you know that's sort of tbd but right now you see the volume at least on this indicator showing a significant significant uh, leaning toward the bulls, 92.9% of the volume uh, is by volume, uh, at least again, you know, per this indicator, it's not exact, but it's uh, meant to be an approximation to give you an idea. Um, so yeah, you see there flipping green. So <laughs> we'll see what this sort of, um, you know, turns into. But uh, it can be tough doing these uh, early in the day or intraday because Nothing has settled yet, and this stock has moved so crazily. So luckily, we have on the chart here 120 all the way down to, say, 70 cents. So hopefully that covers 
a lot of ground. And then if we zoom out to the daily here, I'll just leave this here to close out the video so you can see all the levels on the chart in this view. All right, folks, I hope that your trading week is going well. And as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video.